introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Ian Torchia. Um, I was born in Rochester, Minnesota, and I ski for Northern Michigan University. Okay, and how was your day today? It was great. Um, it was more than I could ever hope for. Uh, been looking forward to racing after last year. I uh, didn't race. I had mono last year, so um, just getting back racing was awesome. And been out in Yellowstone, and uh, I think that coming down from a higher elevation gave me a big boost. But um, working with the CXC team and uh, the skis were amazing. And uh, it's chasing Graham. Big thanks to him for pulling me along that last lap when I started to die. So yeah, it was a, it was a great race. And uh, what, what does this mean to you in terms of results? Um, I've been looking forward to this year for a long time, ever since I was a little kid. Um, we used to watch the Olympics on like little foot-by-foot -foot TV with the bunny ears with a little tinfoil on top, and we'd get all excited when we had color on there. So, um, you know, it's every little kid's dream to go to the Olympics. So um, we'll see what happens at Nationals. we got three weeks until Nationals. Go back to Marquette and put in a block. and. Uh, I mean, if it's in the cards, in the cards, and uh, I'm hopeful right now. Okay. And what do you think of Super Tour coming to Canada? Oh, I love it. I, <laughs> this is amazing. This is paradise. Um, we just got some snow back in the UP, so at least when we can come back to that, it's looking a little grim before this, but uh, this place is unbelievable. I'm looking into how to get Canadian citizenship after I'm done skiing. Okay. And... Uh, you know, Canadians, we don't really know our U.S. geography. Upper Peninsula is, for us, kind of in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of by Thunder Bay, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm in Marquette, which is like this, well, it's actually probably the biggest town in the UP. It's right on Lake Superior. It's up by uh, Houghton, where Nationals were a couple of years ago. And when that lake effect comes in, we just get pounded. Two, three years ago, we were the snowiest city in the U.S., so it's a great place to ski. Okay, and um, distance or sprinting, what's your favorite? Oh, distance for sure. I didn't even race the sprint yesterday. Okay. Yeah, big thanks to my coach for <laughs> telling me to sit that one out. As he said, like, <laughs> what's the point in you maybe qualifying 29th? So, um, yeah, so, uh, I think it was a good call to rest up and uh, just get psyched for today. Yeah, and in terms of pacing, uh, anything in particular? Yeah, I got to thank... Uh, Kyle Bradford, he's on the CXC team. He was a Northern Michigan University alumni. And, um, we've been training together the past four years, and we did we did our pre-race yesterday, and we just realized how important it was to keep that first lap steady and really really work the flats. And I think I kind of just took that into every lap. Is that once you hit a steep wall, just chill and then really accelerate over the top. Excellent. And did you get to get rides with people? I caught Graham on the third lap, so that was my only ride. Um, came by him on the first hill of the third lap, and um, we kind of went back and forth, and he gave me that needed impetus on the uh, steep, on the wall. He was jump skating that, and I thought, I thought he was going to get 30 seconds on me before the finish right there, because he was rolling away, but um, yeah, big thanks to him for pulling me along when I was dying. Excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you.